Hello everyone. Today, we're bringing you a course on HCIA storage. Since you're here to learn about storage, the first thing you need to know is what we are storing. And in simple terms, that's data. So, what is data? This is a key topic for our lesson. Ah, first of all, we need to understand what data is and what are the categories of data. First of all, the basic concept of data, if we use the official language to describe it, is that data is a digital representation of all things. Let me translate it. First of all, what we can see in computers, mobile phones, and computers, what is data? Music, videos, pictures, emails, etc. are actually all data. In fact, everything we see in our daily life can be regarded as data. My. So what kind of data do we store? A. In fact, it is the 01101 on the right, because the language of our computer is binary language. So no matter what form your data is in, show, the left side actually has different forms of expression, such as email, music, videos, and some electronic books. Uh, these are different forms of representation, and ultimately, in a computer, it actually boils down to this 101 representation. So this is actually the basic concept of data. Ah, it is actually a form of representation of our facts in the form of text, numbers, graphics, and images. That is what we refer to as data. Now that we understand the concept of data, next, what are we going to introduce? We're going to talk about how we should store data when we are storing it. Is it just about putting all the data directly onto the disk or in our devices? Well, it's not that simple. Why? Because there are many different types of data. Here, we have the most basic division, which includes three types, structured data, unstructured data, and the middle ground, semi-structured data. So let's introduce it this month. First, we'll start with structured data. So what do we mean by structured? In short, it means having structure. Oh, for example, a two-dimensional table. Going a bit deeper, like databases such as MySQL and Oracle, what we mainly store in Oracle tables or databases my, is, what about between rows and columns? What do we have that has a strict relationship? For example, let's take an Excel spreadsheet as an example. Suppose we have a student information sheet. What does it contain? Well, it includes details like name, gender, and age, phone number, and so on. For example, each row represents the information of each student, and each column contains a specific piece of information. For instance, the first column is for names, and the second column is for gender. There are strict requirements between rows and columns, with strict structural rules. If you violate these rules, your storage will fail. Ah, your storage will fail? This is structured data. Unstructured data is completely the opposite. What does that mean? It means there are no requirements or rules at all, like images, videos, and audio. Ah, at this point, some students might want to argue that images have extensions, right? Like .png, and audio files have .mp3. Isn't that a rule? Ah, actually, that's not what we're talking about when we refer to storage. It's not about what the extension is, but rather how we store the data. For example, let's take music as an example, yeah? Your pitch, tone, and frequency, as well as the size of an image. Structure. These are uh, different rules. Can we impose such a structure on the storage of images or music? Actually, we can't. So what does this actually mean? This is unstructured data. So what does semi-structured data, which is in between the two, mean? Uh, it actually has some rules, so, but not many rules. For example, like the HTML language in our web pages. There are different headers, right? There are header titles. And we have our main text, right? There's a header and a footer. These are all rules. But do they necessarily have to be connected? Or do their lengths and formats have to meet certain requirements? Actually, it's not that strict. This is semi-structured data has different storage methods. So the storage we will talk about later is actually based on these three different contents. And there are different forms of storage. This is the content of this lesson. Ah, if anyone wants to learn about Huawei certification technology or wants to obtain the Huawei certification question bank, please send me a private message. 
I can also engage in more technical exchanges in the comments below the video. All right, that's it for today. Bye, everyone.